What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again. Now, uh, yeah, we do need talking about this movie Barbarian because we watched this about like a week ago, and I just for totally forgot to do a review on this because you know I just been so busy at work and all this stuff, and you, you know you've been busy at work too. Yeah. So <laughs> it's we been like two weeks it. actually. Two weeks. I think it's been like two weekends ago since we watched it. Man, <laughs> uh, so this is. Uh, this is a spoiler review, but I'm gonna try to remember it, you know, every each scene of it, because um, pretty much the way how the story is, how it's all set up, you know, because you know this lady, you know, she went to this house, this Airbnb house, and then uh, when she went there, I guess you know, she found out um, that somebody else was living there, and uh, kind of find out it was one that um, it was it was one this this guy that was in there living in there this whole entire time. And I guess he did not know that some, he was about to be having somebody else be having company. Yeah. That probably be living over there. It was like an Airbnb and they like double booked it basically. Yeah. So I guess he had been staying there like a night or two or something like that. And then the girl gets there. And <clears throat> when you get there, the guy gives you really creepy vibes. So mm -hmm. you think he's trying to set her up um, to stay there because I guess she's there for a job interview. And there ends up being like con a convention. Uh, con convention in yeah. town and so she's trying to just find a hotel but she can't find anything because everything is booked so basically he's like well just stay here i'll sleep on the couch you sleep in the room and like in the morning we'll contact like the the owner of the airbnb and we'll get this all sorted out because he was like acting like he was so concerned about her and her safety and all this so from the from the jump pretty much everybody i know i did anyways mm -hmm. did you think that he was trying to set her up and like yeah. hurt her that's what everybody thought so, um, like, during the night, they have this, like, weird, from what I can remember, they have, like, this weird um, kind of thing where she gets up out of bed and goes, because he's making, like, some weird noise or something. So, she gets out of bed and, like, goes over to him, and, like, um, he gets all creeped out with her, too. Um, but come to find out, they, like, hear these, these sounds in the basement, and yeah. then that's whenever he goes down there. And once he goes down there, it's just weird. Yeah, weird from there. stuff. <laughs> they show a whole lot of crazy stuff going on because I guess something must have happened in the past, or somebody else had that house before. Mm -hmm. And then because like when they went down there in the basement, you know, what I'm saying they start seeing like you know cameras and mm -hmm. the bed and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. The bed look all messed up. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, just all types of creepy stuff that was going on because they had like some kind of history going on mm -hmm. back then. And they come to find out, I mean, they did have a flashback. There was just one guy that was just, you know, taking women, raping them, killing mm -hmm. them. And I guess trying to make babies and all this stuff mm -hmm. and trying to make copies of it or something. Mm -hmm. Just to have something down there or something. Mm -hmm. But but come to find out, it was just one creepy lady. I don't know what she is. I mean, some, I mean, they made her some kind of like a yeah. creature or something like that. And that part was confusing but. for me. I was trying to like see other people's reviews. That part was confusing to me because I was confused as to because he was uh, apparently like um, like kidnapping and raping women yeah. and having babies with them. So I don't know what happened to all the babies that they were having. But then there's like this one baby who grows into a woman but she ends up looking like a creature because she's mm -hmm. been stuck in this basement for like this lo this long amount of time and um she's really no she's really no harm to anybody if you know how to like caress her and talk to her and kind of like um handle her she yeah. won't hurt you because i guess she just wants to like take care of a baby it's really mm -hmm. weird it's very strange but um but before that it so the, they're they're really creative on the the suspense. You you'll think you know what's gonna happen next, and you'll have like no idea what's gonna happen next. The complete opposite will happen of what you think is gonna happen. Um, so like before they they find out all this stuff that's going on with this um with this guy and discover everything he's doing. Um, there, it cuts to another scene like with this other guy who gets accused of raping this girl. She, he's like I guess some type of actor or celebrity. And he's actually the owner of the Airbnb. So he somehow, do you remember him whenever he mm -hmm. has to come? Yeah. So he somehow like comes back in there because he doesn't have a place to stay and he's about to lose all his money because of this lawsuit that this girl's going to put on him. Um, and so anyway, so he goes back there and he's actually the one who ends up discovering um, the guy and and everything that had kind of happened. He's the one who goes down in the basement and finds like all the tapes and he actually sees the guy. Um 
that that guy who they do the flashback like from back in the seventies. There, it's like in the state of, um, or it's in uh, Detroit. Yeah. So, like, and he's really funny, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> he makes the movie like a comedy, um, because at one point he has this, <laughs> he has this, um, this measuring tape because at this point he's about to lose all his money. So like, it's supposed to be a horror film and a suspense and scary. But like he has this uh, measurement tape and he's like Googling ways on how he can sell that Airbnb and make like the max money because he thinks he's about to lose all his money because of the um, the like sexual assault lawsuit. So he's like down there like with the, the tape measure, just completely disregarding the camera that has all the like the bloody room with the bed and the camera and all that. He's just disregarding it and just trying to measure it to see how much he can get on this house. <laughs> so he did make it funny and yeah. he did not care. Like, like he, I don't even know if he ever got scared. He was an asshole. Yeah. He, he did not care at all. Like he, he just skipped everything. Yeah. Like he was just still measuring. He was like, Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get some out of this. Yeah. 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 He just, I was just like, what the heck? Like, do you not see this like dark dungeon that yeah. you're going into? Yeah. <laughs> but he really did not care. Nah. So, um, but let's talk about like what happens after, remember whenever they finally do escape out of there. Because there's a whole mm. bunch of stuff that happens in between, but it will take a long time to go into all that. But once they escape outside of this basement, then it's the guy, the girl from yeah. the original, from the beginning, and then um, the creature. Yeah. Or the, well, yeah, I like, will call her a beast or a creature yeah, or whatever she is. I don't know what the heck she is, man, because... It, everything was just kind of strange to me, dog. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, come to find out from the uh, from the first beginning of the movie, when that lady uh, got caught up with that with that lady, I mean, the other lady, the creature that killed uh, the um, the guy that she was with, and it just cut. You know, that's when we were talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, the, when he cut back to the other guy and everything that owned the owner of the mm -hmm. Airbnb and all that stuff, and. Um, yeah, it cuts back to that, and then all of a sudden, um, when he was doing all that measuring tape and all that stuff, um, then something must have happened, because, like, you know, as he was doing that, uh, I guess somebody was messing with the measuring tape and kind of find out it was that lady, yeah. that creature lady and everything, because she was um, seeing that. And then once he noticed that, and then it starts, you know, it, like the lady started just coming after him. You know, and he started chasing them. I mean, like, I mean, I mean the uh, lady was chasing him and everything, so he started running. And all of a sudden, he just kind of fell in this little hole that had like a little. Uh, oh, I forgot about yeah. that part. Yeah. <laughs> like he fell in that, and then all of a sudden, come to find out that chick, that one lady from the beginning mm -hmm. that was there, you know, she was still down there. Yeah. So she was like held captive, just, you know, from this lady and everything. Yeah. Because to come to find out, she kept on this one creature lady, you know, she was trying to treat them like a baby because she had like those little milk bottles, that bottle. Oh yeah, everything. that was disgusting. It, it was it was gross. I remember now. It was gross. <laughs> I completely forgot about that part. And, and like, and she just like you know just really just stick it to her mouth and everything. Yeah. She just had to drink it. And I'm like, <laughs> it was so nasty. Like, are you are you serious? <laughs> it was so nasty. Like, like you did not care at all. You just like, oh, I gotta do this. And you remember know? the guy? Uh, she was telling the guy she was trying to coach him. She's like, you just do that too. And he's like, heck, heck no, no, I can't do it. He ended up like screaming and like blowing the whole thing. Yeah, like he just he said, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. I couldn't have done it either. Like yeah. that was disgusting. So, so, so the lady creature. I'm just gonna call it the lady creature. Yeah. The lady creature. You know, what I'm saying when she was trying to give him the bottle, he he kind of just denied it. He was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. And he started just freaking out and started screaming and everything. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, lady creature got mad and she just opened up the little cage yeah. door and everything. And then you know, uh, dropped down there and, and grabbed him. Yeah. And everything. And I guess she was really trying to force him to drink the milk and yeah. everything. <laughs> so she kind of did like another way, which is just gross I mean it was the most disgusting thing and I just saw it I was just like what the heck because she she grabbed them she pulled them out and she she dragged them to this room and they show like on a TV where there's showing like the lady on the TV and everything yeah. trying to coach them how to feed the baby and all this stuff so that's what she was doing because like you know she brought him into that room and then she started trying to get, you know she trying to get him to you know suck on her titty and everything her nipple <laughs> It was just gross, man. Like she was really doing it too, and he was like, "Oh they, no, he's so freaking." I was like, "Where did they come up with this?" I was just like, "What the heck is I'm watching right now, bro?" I did forget that part. Oh my god, that was disgusting. It, it was gross, man. Cause like I was, just, I was just like, "Why? What is going on here?" You know, like what's the deal here? 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's a lot of nasty stuff that happens in that basement. It looks yeah. nasty, but again, they've been down there for like 30 years or something. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I think that was back in the 70s or something. So, but eventually, um, after a whole bunch of different little scenes and stuff. Um, they do break out basically. There's this homeless guy who is actually trying yeah. to warn. Um, he's like from the community and he he he's homeless in the community, but he's trying to warn the girl from the very beginning not to go in there. Mm-hmm. But she's thinking that he's trying to attack her, so she like runs in the house thinking like he's about yeah. to like hurt her or something. But in reality, he was just trying to tell her like, don't go in that house. Everybody knows this house is like I guess you could say haunted or something's mm-hmm. in the basement, and all they knew about what was going on there. And also, like, the neighborhood in general, like, they kind of talked about, um, like, what happened in Detroit whenever, like, all of those uh, GMC plants had, like, shut down and stuff, and all the people that used to live there ended up, like, moving out of the community. So the community looks really, really bad. It looks run down. The houses are abandoned. Some of them are burned down. So anyways, but the homeless guy, um, when they finally escape, the three, the lady from the very beginning... Um, the guy, the crazy guy, mm-hmm. um, the funny crazy guy, and then the, um, what are we going to call it, the lady beast. Yeah, lady beast. They all, be- well, first, the um, the lady from the beginning and then the crazy guy go to talk to the homeless guy because they need to get more information now that they have escaped. Mm. Um, so they go over there and then it kind of goes back yeah, because <laughs> from of- there because that guy, like, is so awful yeah because the homeless guy yeah because like the homeless guy was like you know telling the story and everything like you know this lady beach she only comes out at night you know yeah. what i'm saying she don't come out during the day and all that stuff <laughs> so um that's why the dude was trying to warn her from the beget from the get-go from the beginning not to go in the house mm-hmm. so she um now she finally i mean she finally believes him now mm-hmm. cause, you know because she thought that she was about to get attacked from this mm-hmm. guy but no this guy was trying to help her out this whole entire time <laughs> but um as they were sitting in underneath this house or something like that when this homeless guy was living that you know he was explaining them about all this stuff what's going on you know about the lady beats and all that you know da 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 and then after that you know he was um i guess they was questioning him like you know how you survive so long and everything you know how you end up you know um uh, you know staying in that mm-hmm. staying in this place for the whole entire time and he was just talking all his talking all his mess and talking about, yeah, yeah, I've been sitting here mm-hmm. I mean, I've been here all my life, you know what I'm saying? Nobody can't really find me and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And after he said that, you know, this Boom. lady beast just <laughs> just bumped like she just She comes through that, yeah. Yeah, come through the wall. Like she burst through that wall and everything. I was just like, like yo, you, she is superhuman strong, yeah. like for real. Like you spoke too soon, because yeah. as soon as he said that, I was like, no. Yeah. Just... Yeah, like dude was done for. I mean, she just burst through that wall. Yeah. Got him and snatched. I mean, grabbed, she grabbed his arm, ripped it off, and started oh, yeah. just beating him with it and all that stuff. I was just like, "What the heck, yeah, yo?" She was strong. Like she, she was like superhuman strong. Mm-hmm. Like somebody, like she must got that uh, that Captain America super soldier stuff going on through her, man. Like she on the steroids or something. Yeah, because she was not playing. She yeah. was not playing around, and um, you know they the uh, the lady and the other guy, you know, what I'm saying they finally escaped. They started running into this little uh, little water tank mm-hmm. and something like that, and they went upstairs mm-hmm. and everything trying to escape. And here come the lady, but she she's already ganging up on them and start just walking up the stairs mm-hmm. and everything trying to chase after them. So as soon as he got to the uh, at the top, you know, top of the roof of that uh, water tank and everything, he was like, you know, losing his mind. He was like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And he told the girl, he was like, Oh, he's like, Oh, I can get away from this. Yeah. I can get away. And she was like, Oh no, no, don't do that. And then yeah. she was like, and he was like. He said, like, I have to do this. You know, he, she just grabbed her. And, and then as soon as that lady beast started coming up, he was like, hey, you want your baby? Here. And he, he throws throw her. her off. Off. Yeah, he, that was so wrong. Yeah. He just like literally throws her off of this like huge, I don't know what they were on top of or whatever, but they were on really high up and high. And he mm. just throws her. And then immediately I was like, I know he did that sexual assault. Like, I was thinking, like, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt when he was calling that girl crying, talking about he didn't do it. And then I was like, when he did that, I was like, he don't care about girls at all. Because he literally threw her over and then tried to apologize afterwards, remember? Whenever she... So when she falls to the ground, she survives. And then even when the, the lady beast goes down, remember, she knows how to handle her. So she was able to, like, talk to her and she she didn't, like, go down and attack her. And um, then she ends up surviving and then he tries to... 
I forgot what did he try to apologize? Yeah, to her he tried to apologize. <laughs> like I knew that you would survive. That's why I threw you down. I'm like, what? That and like, how do you know that? Because like I said, because yeah. I mean, the she could have died from the from la- from falling from yeah, that far. He did not saying. care about her at all. He don't think he cared about anybody but himself. Because like, as soon as he done, I mean, as soon as he did that, the, the, the most beautiful moment that everybody did not expect. You know, what I'm saying this lady beast just jumped out. Yeah. To oh, her yeah, and everything, caught, trying yeah, to catch her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and that's, that's how, how she, she survived. survived. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like, I, I was like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> but then he ends up dying at the end. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, as, soon, as soon as he went down there and everything, he was like, oh, yeah, I apologize, yeah. I apologize. I thought you was going to live or die or yeah. something like that. So he pulled her up, and all of a sudden, that lady beach was still alive. She came up, and yeah. she was, like, pissed off yeah. and everything. <laughs> Grabbed this dude, hold her, like, she hold him by the head, and she stuck her tongue, I mean, she stuck her thumbs out and just... Sticking in his, in his eyes, eyes. and everything. And, he, and she just killed him right there. <laughs> on the spot. On the he spot right there. And then um, the lady beast kind of just checked up on her, the one the one lady. Mm-hmm. And um, and I guess the lady, she was just like, you know, she found a way to yeah. get rid of this chick. <laughs> just lady beast or something. Yeah. She had like the gun and she just aiming at her head and just bow. Mm-hmm. And that was, that was it. it. <laughs> that's how the movie ended. It was a really good movie, though. Yeah, very, very it was crazy. Movie. Though I just wasn't expecting that. Yeah. But um, what's the what's what, what what are you gonna give it? Oh, this movie, I'm giving it like a eight point five out of. It could be an eight point five or a nine out of ten. It was really good. Yeah, I, I'll give it an eight point five because yeah. I did I did say I was gonna give it a seven, but now I was like, nah, I'm gonna give it an eight eight point five out of ten for me for yeah. this movie. So. Really I'm pretty good. sure y'all already did check it out because, like I said, it was it's been out for like a week or two. So mm-hmm. I just forgot to do it because you know I just had so much stuff going on. So yeah. I just thought I'd go ahead and just get out the way before I forget. <laughs> <laughs> so because so hopefully yeah. we remembered it pretty well because it was like two weeks ago that we yeah. watched. We watched like a few movies since then. So <laughs> so yeah, but uh, yeah, that's our that's our spoiler review. So. um Post your comments down below. I really want to know what you guys think, man. Did you enjoy this movie, Barbarian? Did you love it? Did you hate it? You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you liked about it and, what, and let me know what you uh, dislike about it. Post them all down in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoy our review, make sure you hit that like button. Smash that <laughs> like button. And always subscribe it, it, share it. it. And I'm going to catch you guys later. <laughs> Deuces. Bye.